in the feature fight. We've seen Raul Rosas Jr. versus Terrence Mitchell. And yeah, it didn't it didn't go long. I uh, I didn't I if you had me predict ten different ways I thought that fight would go, uh Raul Rosas Jr. by first round KO was not what I would have picked. Like actual KO on the feet. Yeah, I, I I didn't I didn't expect that at all. So went for fifty four seconds. So Raul Rosas Jr. and Terence Mitchell run at each other, literally instantly get in each other's face, start swinging big shots. Terence Mitchell swinging big shots too, and yeah, they're just swinging back and forth. Raul Rosas lands a few big shots. I think Mitchell maybe landed a body kick, but. Yeah, then Raul Rosas just lands a big fucking haymaker. And yeah, he, he literally he flush KO'd him. It looked like Terrence Mitchell was out for a few seconds, but he came to. And then Raul Rosas just fucking brutalized him on the ground with ground and pound. Looked very similar to the Cameron Simon finish. Had him flattened out and just boom, boom, boom. And that was all she wrote. Uh, yeah, not much else to say because the fight... Didn't last very long, but it was a very good performance for uh, Raul Rosas Jr., especially off that Cameron, uh, sorry, that uh, that um, Rodriguez, that C-Rod fight, Christian Rodriguez fight. It was a good comeback for him after that. You know, he's still got some hype. You know, he's only 18 years old. People were riding him off right after that fight. It's like, the guy is 18 years old. He's so young. Like, he probably won't even get to the top for like another decade, maybe. Like, he could... I'm not saying he. I'm saying he could still be the youngest champion or whatever, but he could. This this Raul Rosas guy could be around for another ten years and not even be close to his prime. It's, it all depends on the damage he's taking. But if he keeps winning fights like that against that level of competition, then yeah, he's going to be all good because he take he took no damage in that fight. It was good to see. His striking's improving. He's got knockout power. Terence Mitchell's not the most durable guy though. He, this is the same guy who got chinned on the Ultimate Fighter by Kai Kara France in 30 seconds. So maybe it's just a, a thing of Terence Mitchell's durability, not uh, Raul Rosas's power. But still, it was a good look from him. You know, he showed that he can get a. You know, some people can't get KOs on the feet like that. Like I doubt. I know Bilal Muhammad TKO Sean Brady, but you're not going to see Bilal Muhammad go out there and KO someone with a glass chin. Like it, it rarely happens. So Raul Rosas has to have a little bit of power, I'm saying. You know, at the very least, he's got some power because, he, you know, he fucking flattened Terrence Mitchell. It's not like Terrence Mitchell is literally James Vick, so. Yeah, really good performance there by Raul Rosas. I don't know who I want to see him fight next. I'd like to see them just take it slow. Christian Rodriguez, I thought that fight was a big jump up for a minute. I got proven right. So just take it slow with this guy. You know, he's 18. If you want him to be active, just give him another... Give him someone you want to cut, you know, give him, just give him lower ranked bantamweights, build the guy up, he's 18, he was born in 2004, he's got a long time to go in the sport, so don't be rushing him up, don't be booking like, him versus like fucking Javid Basharat or some shit next, like don't be doing that, don't be doing Domon Black shit versus Raul Rosas Jr. next, just build him up smartly, you know, build him up slowly, and I'm sure he'll actually be a real promising fighter in that bantamweight division in time but still Terence Mitchell not the greatest guy but still the way he beat him he beat him exactly how he needed to beat Terence Mitchell which is what you like to see from a fighter you know if he went in there and he had like a competitive back and like back and forth slug fest with him then yeah we'd be a bit worried but you know that, that was a one side of traffic good way to get it done which I really like to see from him he looked good he looked very improved on the feet. He looked like a fish out of water when he was striking with Christian Rodriguez. And how long ago was that fight? That fight was like March, I think. So, you know, it's been a while, you know. It's maybe April, I think, actually. Maybe it was the Adesanya Pereira card. But still, he looks improved and he's going to make rapid improvements. Like I say, he's only 18. Like, it's not... Raul Rosas Jr. is not even close to being a finished pro... Uh, prospect like he's got plenty of time to go we we could be talking about this guy being a fucking card like a proper kickboxer in a few years like he could if he wanted to completely change his style he has the time to do that is what i'm getting at you know if Raul Rosas wanted to go out there and turn into fucking k1 route Rosas, he could do that he has the time to do make all these changes so 
Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't like people <laughs> jumping off, and I even seen some people saying he was washed. <laughs> but obviously, I think they're just uh, trolling a little bit there. But yeah, I, I wouldn't count Rao Rosas Jr. completely out. I've heard stuff about what he's done to some high level fighters, and that was when he was like 17. And his grappling's legit, but the fact he's mixing in his, ra uh, his striking now is good to see. And anyway, winning a, winning the first round against Tr Christian Rodriguez was still pretty impressive. I, I rate C-Rod pretty highly, you know. He went to a pretty competitive fight with Jonathan Pierce, an upper weight class. So he's not like a bad fighter by any means. So, you know, I, I wasn't completely off the Raul Rosa's hype train after that fight. But obviously, we need to take him slowly. Don't be rushing him up to them, like, top-tier guys yet. Don't be doing Cameron Simon versus Raul Rosa if he beats C-Rod either. Just keep these prospects away from each other. Let Raul Rosas beat up all the older fighters you want to get rid of or that you think he can beat. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. But still very impressive performance. It seemed like the crowd loved him. And yeah, just dominant performance from uh, against Terrence Mitchell. First round KO. If anyone was actually predicting that, I don't know how because Raul Rosas Jr. has shown us nothing on the feet that would you know give the impression he can go out there and flatline someone. So if somebody did actually pick him to win with the striking, then good on you. But I don't, I don't think logically anyone fought that because I, I don't know how you can think that. From what I was seeing on the feet, I was thinking, oh no, we have another Ben Asker, and like he's really good on the ground. But once it's on the feet, he's getting fucked. But no, he looked, he looked improved. If he improves his cardio and his pacing, then yeah, he'll he'll be a problem now. But I think if you take him slowly, he'll be an even bigger problem in the future. So I look forward to seeing the future of Pharrell versus Junior. And for Terence Mitchell, it's unfortunate. Zero and two against people born in the 2000s. You know, the 2000s are kicking his ass. Like, literally, Cameron Simon, born in the year 2000. Uh, Raul Rousseff Jr., born in the year 2004. Uh, yeah, maybe give Terence Mitchell someone his own age and maybe he'll go in there and flatline him. But, yeah, unfortunate for him, 33 years old. You would imagine he's probably going to get cut after this one, but maybe... Maybe he'll get another chance. I guess we'll have to see, but yeah, very, still very good performance from Raul Rosas Jr. And I don't, I'll match. I'll probably do a matchmaking video tomorrow. Uh, I f this card was really good, so I feel like I'll match make some fighters, and I'll figure out who to give Raul Rosas Jr. next. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.